Thank you, guys. So basically, I will talk a little bit with you about uh, the startup ecosystem here in Lisbon and mainly uh, about the job that we, Startup Lisboa, do here in the ecosystem. Uh, feel free also to, to go uh, upstairs on the second floor if you have some more doubts uh, internally about it. Uh, we have there a stand with some of our startups that will be cool as well uh, for you to, to know them uh, as well. But mainly talking a little bit about what we do uh, here. Uh, we are an incubator uh, based in Lisbon. We were created in 2012 uh, by the Participative Budget Initiative uh, here in Lisbon, so where the citizens vote for the idea that they want to be uh, and to see implemented here uh, in the city. And in 2010, the idea was uh, an incubator. So the city hall decided to create Startup Lisboa, uh, a, a, an incubator agnostic in terms uh, of, of sector, uh, focusing on tech-related uh, startups. Basically, how does it work for a startup to be incubated with us? So, we have four jury sessions per year, similar to Shark Tank or Dragon's Den, uh, where the startups apply to Startup Lisboa, and then we review the process for them to apply, uh, and then uh, having a, a jury session uh, where we choose the ones that make the best fit for us to help uh, in, the next, in the next times. They tend to stay with us one and a half year, and this tends to be uh, the, the part of the process uh, where they need help, and we are focused on early stage uh, startups, so meaning that uh, they stay with us and they can apply to Startup Lisboa with a max of three years since they have uh, been created, uh, and this uh, is the time that they can relate uh, with us. We'll now have a second part as well uh, related to the, the scale-ups, but this is a, a part also turned to the, to the future. Uh, regarding some of the numbers, uh, we have currently incubated at Startup Lisboa 130 startups uh, in different segments and different sectors with different uh, kinds of, of activities, uh, but mainly uh, the ones that have passed uh, through, through our incubation process have been more than 400 uh, startups uh, with us. What do we help them uh, with in terms of the ecosystem? And this really explains uh, a lot how the ecosystem works uh, and uh, the kind of players that we have inside the ecosystem. So basically, uh, we have a network of mentors, more than 100 mentors that helps the startups uh, in terms of the projects that they are doing and in succeeding in the projects uh, that they are doing in different areas, different core areas. When the startups appear, they have like two, three founders max uh, in different areas, but there are some lack of knowledge uh, in the other areas that they haven't recruited yet uh, for, for the team. And that's why the mentors enter uh, also their project and help uh, in the specific the technical uh, part of the, of the knowledge that they, that they need. Then we help with the connection in terms of the perks and partners uh, that we have. So basically link the part of the corporate world with the startup world in terms of piloting that we do with the startups that we have and the corporates that works directly uh, with, with us. And then uh, some perks that offer some uh, law offices, uh, office hours, uh, some accountants, office hours, and everything for the startups to have uh, this, this help. Then the third one is the funding matchmaking, so basically to guarantee that we link, uh, we don't invest and we don't take equity from the startups that we have incubated there, so to guarantee that the startups that we have uh, there have access to a pipeline of investors, not just national but internationally as well, have access to a different set uh, of funding and between venture capitalists, between uh, funds, uh, between uh, different grants that they can have access to uh, for them to, to scale uh, their business and to scale their activity. Then the part of the communication, so to guarantee that we can amplify the job that the startups are, are doing and promoting what they are doing, and the community. So basically to guarantee that the 130 startups that we have inside Startup Lisboa uh, know that they can work with each other and produce different value from the value that they gather uh, with uh, the different mentors, the different partners, and the experience that they are passing uh, through uh, the, the program. This is the rocket program, so basically it's part of the journey of the startup. So 
when they enter Startup Lisboa, they have a 12-week program where every Friday they have access to a, ses uh, uh, a current sessions uh, of uh, mentoring, current sessions of checkpoints with the team for them to better develop, uh, different master classes for them to, to have, one-to-one -one meetings with different investors, so basically for them to, uh, to be prepared in a better way uh, for the challenges that they are facing uh, in, the, in the market. Then, here I present you some success cases that have been involved uh, with Startup Lisboa uh, as well uh, in, the, in the current areas. Like, as you can see, in different areas, different uh, areas of knowledge and expertise and actuation uh, from, from it. That also shows that our ecosystem here in Portugal is getting uh, quite, quite big, in, not just in terms of number of startups, but in terms of uh, exposure and movement and dynamic that we are creating, which is quite nice also for the country and for the development that we are seeing in terms of innovation. You also have in the ecosystem some of the events uh, that can relate with it, not just in the part of the incubation, but also in the mission of connecting the city and connecting us uh, with the rest of the world. So basically, we have one, one program that is launched in Lisbon. Uh, that is a program that we organize uh, for the people that wants to establish their businesses here in Portugal uh, to enroll and have three days where they can have meetings uh, with different players from the ecosystem, uh, with accountants, with law offices, for them to uh, be prepared for what they will face uh, here in the Lisbon uh, ecosystem and for them to not have doubts when establishing their business uh, in here. And then from start to table, that is an acceleration program that we have uh, related to food and beverage, so uh, also connected. It's similar to an incubation program, uh, but way uh, shorter in terms of times. It's 12 weeks for them to develop everything in terms of what they are doing. So it's basically just to accelerate uh, in a specific segment and to connect them uh, with different players from the ecosystem. Two more initiatives, one hackathon that we have developed in partnership with the City Hall. Uh, the, the purpose uh, was to find a solution for the empty houses and how to renew them uh, and to put them on the availability of the, of the citizens uh, and for them to, to use them uh, in, the, in the needs that we are facing in scarcity in terms of, uh, of housing. And then uh, a second one, a collaborative program that we have developed with NOS uh, to better uh, manage the part of the, of the 5G and to present them some startups uh, for them to collaborate with and to develop some specific solutions uh, in. How do we do it? So basically we have two different uh, places, uh, Rua da Prata in the city center, uh, where we have our, our startups in terms of early stage, and then Casa Startup Lisboa, that is uh, home Startup Lisboa, where, where we have um, a residence for entrepreneurs, so basically 14 rooms. Uh, it's a, a six-month uh, max staying period uh, where the startups can, can be and entrepreneurs from the ecosystem can be, it's not just from our startups, but people that is coming from for uh, different conferences here in Portugal that is attending it and it's involved with the ecosystem and wants uh, to have a similar related people in the same house as they were, uh, they can stay uh, in there. And finally, the Hub Creative Dubiat. So basically, uh, this is one of the parts of the ecosystem and one of the biggest ones. So it will be uh, the house of innovation, technology, and creative industries. And it's basically focused uh, to be a place uh, with 18 buildings, 35,000 meter squares, and to try to gather uh, in the same uh, place a lot of the innovation uh, of the city. And not uh, to take out the innovation that we have in the different cities, in the different parts of the city, but mainly to attract new one that is coming to different conferences and everything here to Portugal and want to know uh, where it is the best place for them to be and for them uh, to base uh, their business. And this is one uh, of the ones that they, that they can do it uh, as, as well. And yeah, basically uh, that's it. Feel free uh, to scan it and to send me a message if you, if you have some more doubts and, and you need uh, to ask some questions or also to, to pass by the second floor and to talk directly uh, with, uh, with, the, with us. Uh, but, but thank you for it.